Hey guys, the objective for this video is to determine the longitudinal and hoop stresses in a closed cylindrical pressure vessel. So let's have a look at the question here. So we've got our enclosed cylindrical pressure vessel. We've got a diameter of 500 and a thickness of 5 millimeters. Um, and we've got a pressure of 30 megapascals acting inside the vessel. So that 30 megapascals is going to be acting in all directions. And what that means is that we're going to get hoop stresses along the um, outside of our cylinder and we're also going to be getting longitudinal um, tensile stresses um, along um, the outside longitudinally as the top and the bottom want to push away. So in the last video we derived formulas for hoop stresses and longitudinal tensile stresses. So really the only thing we need to do in this question here is just utilize those formulas. One thing I would recommend being careful of is just your units, just making sure um, you're putting everything in the right units and then writing down the correct units at the end. So hopefully from the last video, what you'll remember is that the formula for hoop stress is pressure times diameter divided by two times the thickness. So just sub in all of your units all of your values. So we've got 30 as our pressure multiplied by our diameter of 500 millimeters divided by two times our thickness of five. So the key thing here is that we're putting in our pressure as megapascals and we're putting in our units as our millimeters. But because we've got millimeters and millimeters at the bottom for our length, um, our thickness and our diameter, those two units are going to cancel and we're going to be left by, with an answer in megapascals. So as long as both of these